Check out this clip from the Uchi Show. Really quick, though, um, prior to your shift starting, do you have like a, a, a warm-up regime or regimen you go through? Before I start my day? Yeah, before you start your appointments. Is there like some sort of stretching or anything you do? <laughs> stretching? Oh, no. I don't know. I, you know, I, I don't need a camera or anything, but I do. I have a, a little setup I do, you know, like, you know, I set everything out. I set some of my toys out and, you know... I kind of like, you know, I set the mood, I put the music on, I have like everything. I have like a little routine that I have, and it takes about five minutes before any of my parties. Because I'm very, uh, I'm very OCD, I like to make sure everything goes by smoothly, and, you know, I make sure that the guys take care if they need a drink, if they're nervous, and go to the bar and get a drink. Because I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, have a guy come in here, you know, shaking like a chihuahua, you know. Because <laughs> we all know that's not, you know, not, they're not going to be able to like, you know, get up or anything. So I definitely like to set the mood for the guys. Right. Um, so that we have a fun time, you know, being here. And, you know, I I do what I do, but I, I love to do what I do. I You can make it, you know, either miserable or you can make it fun. And I like to make it fun. I hear you. It's almost like the regimen I have. I'm the same way. I'm OCD before I do my shows. I got to make sure everything's lined up. But a, a quick question for you on that. Every single client is, is sort of like an adventure, right? Because you have to basically... Prior to them, you're sort of like a psychologist. When people come in, you know what they want, number one. Um, do you ever find yourself that you have to sit there and actually place them in the mood to to perform? That you, If they're like nervous or scared, like you said, um, is there any special little trickery that you do, like a massage or, or talk some way to them to get them going? How do you find out what gets them going? Well, no, each guy, you know, yeah, sometimes we have the guys that come here, they stay in here, they know what's up. I, they don't really need help. You know, they have the general idea. Yeah, and that's generally easy for me because I don't have to deal with any other emotions or, or you know, if there's any kind of a guilt from holding them back. You know, sometimes they're, it's basically, you know, they know who I, you know, I who I am and they've watched my movies. I've had some of them, you know, they get scared and they're, like, shaking. And those ones, I don't really know what to do except calm them down. I'm like, here, to have a drink. You know, if they don't drink, <laughs> then I have to, right. you know... Basically, just like if everything's gonna be okay, let's just pretend that we're at a bar, mm -hmm. get to know each other, yeah. and you know, hey, we we have a great connection, and we're just going back to, you know, we're going back to my place, you know, right. and um, I just I yeah. put on some music and I just like talk to them, like just pretend like just you and me, and you know, we, you know, I just I know it depends on like you know sometimes I get virgins, you know, I get. I was surprised, and I didn't think how many guys that were like over thirty that are still virgins. You know, right? At this, like, like the four-year-old virgin. There's tons of those that come through here, and I'm like, you know, it's weird because me, you know, only being twenty-one, right? And the experience that, that I've had, I'm like, it's weird. So I mean, I kind of like though. I, I like those kind of, you know, guys that come and don't really know what to do. Kind of like I can end up teach them and like make them kind of like that very first special moment. Like I love. I love the virgins to come through. For more clips from the Uchi Show, check out uchi.com for more details.